Hey, I'm going to sit down with Nate here, and today I am playing our Rotten Tomatoes guessing game with Steven Spielberg movies because West Side Story is coming out. He's got a new movie. But before we get into the game, scroll down to the description box below, pop it open, you'll find links to all of our social media accounts. You'll also find links to our coffee account and our Patreon account if you'd like to help our channel grow in a very necessary financial manner. We'd appreciate that as well. But let's get to it. First, we have one of his more recent films, Bridge of Spies. Um, hmm. That's a tough one. Uh, anytime a Spielberg movie comes out, it's like always gotta have, always going to have a lot of hype. Uh, as a huge Spielberg fan, I'll admit, doesn't always live up to it. I feel like Bridge of Spies is one of those. I just remember it being a little boring. Uh, so I'm going to guess 74%. You are off. Bridge of Spies is sitting critically fresh at 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. You was also off on the audience score as well. They gave it a 87%. Oh, good for them. Next, another more recent Spielberg film, 2016's The BFG Oh, the, the big old friendly giant. Uh, he doesn't dip into animation too often. Um, yeah, it's still kind of live action. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I never saw it, um, so I really don't know. Never heard anything bad about it. So I'm leaning towards the 80s. I'll guess 88%. Off again, critically fresh. I feel like we're going to see that a lot through Spielberg's catalog. Yeah. But it's critically fresh at 74%. Yeah. Audience, not a fan of this movie, 57% with an audience score. Hmm. Diving into more of what we love from Steven Spielberg, and that's the classics on classics on classics that he's made. This being maybe your favorite movie of all time, Jurassic Park. I love Jurassic Park. Um... Okay, so this is absolutely in the 90s. No question about it. Uh, this is... Uh, if I wouldn't label it as my favorite movie of all time, it's definitely my most watched movie of all time. Like, no doubt I've watched Jurassic Park more than I've watched any other movie ever. Um, if I rated it, I would give it like a 98%. I don't think that everyone else feels that way so I think it's in the low 90s um, I'm gonna guess 92 <laughs> percent it's your favorite new movie now <laughs> sitting critically fresh at 92 percent on Rotten Tomatoes still haven't gotten on one right for Strange Wang but <laughs> you've gotten like 15 so Audience score ninety one percent, so you you, be higher. you may be right on that. You probably feel the same about this movie, Hook. Oh, <laughs> uh, this one's gonna be tough because like I have such a nostalgic connection to Hook, but I know that a lot of people consider it like one of his worst movies, which it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, like it's made for kids. I think you have to look at it through that lens, uh, like. Great performance by Robin Williams. Uh, man, I don't know what to do with Hook. I knew you were going to put it on there, and I really don't know what to do with it. Because it could be one of his lowest movies. So I'm going to go, I'm going to roll with that only because I just know that other people should like to shit on Hook. Uh, so I'm going to guess 71%. <laughs> What would you give it? What would I give? Personally. Oh, uh, like a 81 maybe. 81? Yeah. And you gave it a what, 71? I guess 71. You're you're very far off on both. Oh. Hook is rotten. I don't understand that. Like, I don't understand that at all. I'm going to lean over so I can see your face when I say this. 29%. That makes no fucking sense. It like, that makes no sense to me. I don't understand the hook hate. And I'll never understand the hook hate. Next, we have 
what I believe to be Christian Bale's first film, Empire of the Sun. Oh, okay. Um, man, I have not watched that in a very long time. Uh, I don't really know what to do with this one either. So I'm going to do what I always do when I don't know what to do with one. And I'm going to put it in the 70s or 80s. Uh, I don't know. 89%. Yeah, a little high. Critically fresh, though. Sitting at 75%. Okay. Very high audience score for this film. Sitting at 90%. Yeah, good for it. So you right there in the middle there, buddy. Next we have... I believe I've heard this come out of, of your mouth that this is your favorite Indiana Jones film and it's Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Um, yeah, it is my favorite Indiana Jones uh, movie. I think I personally think it's the best of the unfortunately four of them and about to be five. Um, man, so the thing is is like we we've had you've given me this one a Rotten Tomatoes guessing game before. And I remember being upset about it because I, I don't even know if it's in the 90s. Um, to me, it's like a 94, 95. Uh, that's tough. I'm going to go 87%. Ooh! You, you were very, very close on both. We actually nailed the audience score because oh. it's at 94%. Critically fresh, though, the critics think Indiana Jones and Last Crusade is sitting at 88%. God, I was going to say 88, but I guessed 88 for one earlier, and I didn't want to do it again. Ugh. We're going to stick with our boy Harrison Ford with the first Indiana Jones film, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay, so this one is, is going to be higher, probably, because... Uh, a lot of people consider Raiders to be a perfect movie. I don't disagree. I just think Last Crusade is also a perfect movie. Um, but uh, Raiders is the more widely considered like best Indiana Jones movie. So the question is how much better did they give it? Because I feel like they have to be really close. So I'm going to say Raiders has got to be in the low 90s. Uh We'll, we'll double down on the Jurassic Park magic. We'll say 92. Incorrect. I think the score is a little too low for this film personally, but it is sitting critically fresh at 95%. Okay. Audience score, six ninety six percent So one point difference between the two. Mm. Next, we have a Spielberg drama from 1985, The Color Purple. Okay. Also, Billy's favorite movie. Is it? It is. Oh, shout out to Billy. Very odd choice for him. Would have never guessed that, but... Yeah. Yeah, all you young men should just be happy there's no more payphones in five points. Um, again, one I have not... I've only seen it once. It's been a long time. Never revisited. Uh, 86%. In the ballpark. I was hoping you get this right because your favorite color is purple. That's true. It is sitting at a not critically fresh, which is surprising because it's at a 81%. Huh. No, that's odd. That doesn't happen often. Next, we're going to end it on a classic. Well, most people say it's a classic. I think it's about an alien that's a pedophile, <laughs> and it's E.T., the actual terrestrial. Okay. Um, so... I used to really not care for E.T. that much at all. I thought it was super overrated and then rewatched it like two years ago and have watched it like three times since and just like refill, fell in love with it. It's all just because of Spielberg's like filmmaking style. Uh, it super gets me invested in it with uh, the John Williams score and like the angles, the lighting. Uh, so E.T. really does it for me now. I also know that a lot of people think that this is his best film. Uh, which I would disagree with. I would put uh, Jurassic Park, Raiders, Last Crusade over E.T. any day. Uh, maybe even Schindler's List. Um, but people are big on E.T. And the perfect movie term gets thrown around with E.T. a lot. And I also know that a lot of the critics that are 
putting stuff on Rotten Tomatoes are 80s kids, and 80s kids fucking love them some E.T. So I think E.T. is way up there. I know it's not 100, and I think 99 is too high. So I'm going to go 98%. Damn it. <laughs> I created this game, and I, God, I can't get any right. Second one right of the episode, critically fresh, 98%. I'm appalled by this score. I think the audience score is still too high as well, which sitting at a 72%. Wow, that's a big gap. They should just throw this movie in the trash. Well, that's not true. It's a good movie. Personally, I would give it like an 85, 86. But anyways, I got two right. Strange Wing has still not gotten any right in the history of us playing this game. I got one. You got one right. You're right. He's got one. I got like 16 or 17 now. We should. We need to start keeping score. Anyways, let me know. Did you get any right down in the comment section below? Do you agree with most of these scores? Do you disagree? I don't know. You got to tell me. You got to tell me down there. Scroll back up, hit the like button, and subscribe. It's not a game. It's a red